It's Faith Friday, and you may know our next guest is not only the daughter of the late pastor Billy Graham, but the best-selling author teaching us to strengthen our spiritual connections during the lowest points in life. And I got a hug when she walked in. In her book, Transforming Loneliness, she talks about how faith can help us flourish when we feel alone. Please welcome Ruth Graham. Good to see you and good to have you here. Thank you for having me. Of course. So the inspiration behind this book came about when you, you know, went through surgery. You said you felt alone? Yes, I was, um, it was a, had to be repeated surgery. And my daughter's took me to the hospital and they made sure I was well taken care of, but they had to go home. They had their families and children to look after. And so I was flat on my back. I couldn't move. I couldn't reach to get a glass of water. And I was alone and feeling very much alone. And then, of course, when I went off to boarding school as a young woman, I felt terribly alone. Oh, that was the worst I'd ever felt. Mm. We were talking about this before we came on. We're in a time where we're heading into another presidential election. There's so much division in oh, yeah. this country. And a lot of times it's set up as it's people who love Jesus and then everyone else. How, how do you think we find common ground? Well, of course, we have to agree to disagree on some things. But, you know, I have to follow my father's um, um, example that he loved people. He accepted them where they were and he just loved them. And uh, my father was my hero. And so I want to follow his example. And actually, he was following his Heavenly Father's example. So that's what I want to do. All right, it is Faith Friday. And one thing that we can all agree on is that we love and enjoy and need wisdom. What do you got for us? We got wisdom of how to transform loneliness because there's so many people suffering loneliness. And the Surgeon General has declared it a national health crisis. And uh, people are dying because of loneliness. They are... Um, lack of um, poor nutrition. They are, um, well, 54% are feel alone and 56% feel like nobody knows them well. And that's the UCLA loneliness scale. And it's just really sad that so many people feel alone, but they're ashamed to say that. They find it easier to talk about depression than loneliness. And I experienced that myself when I was doing research for the book. And I was uh, taking a book about loneliness on the plane with me. And I was going to pull it out of my bag and read it. While I was, and then I thought, the man sitting next to me is going to think I'm lonely. So I put it back in my bag because mm. I was ashamed. And so there's a stigma to it because it makes us feel deficient that something's wrong with us. So is there a quick fix like where you can join the gym or you can make new friends by just going for a walk or it's not that simple? It's well, there is a fix, but it does take time. And I use the acronym REACH. Recognize and evaluate your sources and symptoms of loneliness. Uh, express it to God and one other. Just say, God, I'm lonely. And then go to some trusted friend, an older friend that you can trust or a pastor and tell them you're lonely. I had a young woman come into my office one day and say, I'm lonely. That was a great place to start. Then we could work on it. Um, anticipate that God can transform your loneliness. See, connect with other people. Connect through community. We were made for community. It's in our DNA. God lives in community. And he said it's not good for man to be alone, so we need to be in community. And then um, honor God with your loneliness. Just simply give it to him and say, God, I'm lonely. You use this in my life for your glory. Surrender. Yeah. Yes. They always say, let go and let God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Well, Ruth, thank you very much. It is a pleasure to be in your presence. Thank you. It's a delight for me to be here. Thank you so much. All right. And Transforming Loneliness is available everywhere that books are sold. So go out and support it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.